Welcome to the Salzburg New Media Lab screencast. My name is Sebastian Schaffert and in this screencast I will show you how we can use Google Refine and Deary's excellent RDF extension together with our linked media framework to publish legacy data from for example Excel, XML or comma separated values to the linked data cloud. On my computer I have already installed the linked media framework using our one-click installer which you can see here it's already started up and I have installed Google Refine and the RDF extension. I have also prepared a small comma separated value file that contains information about books which will now publish as linked data. We start by importing the comma separated value file into Google Refine. In the screencast we don't apply anything more complicated. We simply import it using Google Refine's standard mechanism. So I simply create an and create the project without any further processing. Since we want to interlink the datasets with existing data from DBpedia, the first step is to reconcile the title and the author of the books using the RDF reconciliation services provided by the RDF extension. Note that this can take a while to process. To start the reconciliation, I click on the name column, select reconcile and click on start reconcile. I select the DBpedia service and it will now try to figure out which type of um, resources we are working with. And I select DBpedia Ontology Book and click on Start Reconciling. This will take a while. The reconciliation now already figured out uh, for most of the books uh, an exact match on DBpedia. And for some there's still some manual work to be done. Um, so I simply accept the recommendations that Google Refine has made me. Now I do the same for the author column. Again I click on reconcile, start reconciling. I select the, the BPDA service. It will try to figure out the types. I select DBO writer as type and I click on start reconciling. So again, it found most of the authors, only one is missing and for this one we say we create a new topic on our local system. In the next step we are going to create the RDF skeleton for our dataset. From the RDF menu we select Edit RDF Skeleton. The first change we need to do is uh, to set the base URI properly so that we can publish the data as linked data in the linked media framework. To figure out the right base URI, I now go to Linked Media Framework. I copy the base URI of the system and I enter it here. And then I add resource as a prefix since this is how the Linked Media Framework internally uh, represents resources. Uh, the next thing is that I select a proper naming for the resources and instead of the row, in a row index I will select the name cell to be used to generate resource names. Now we are going to map the data columns to RDF properties. So the RDF extension already provides this functionality and we can have a preview on the data by clicking on the RDF preview tab here. The first thing is that we will add the RDF type book with book being in our own uh, domain. So I simply enter book here and click on edit. The book will now be resolved relatively to the base URI and I simply click on apply. Um, since we are in the book uh, domain the best vocabulary to be used is the Dublin Core metadata vocabulary and we will use this to map some of the columns uh, to RDF properties. First I select the name of the book and I um, say this is the DC title. Now the system does not yet know Dublin Core. When I click on edit, it therefore suggests me to import Dublin Core from the Dublin Core vocabulary. And then I uh, carry out the task again and I select DC title and now via auto completion it suggests me already the title. I do the same for the uh, for the author which will be the DC creator and for the ID which will, will be the DC identifier and for the genre which will be the DC subject. If I now click on RDF preview 
I see that we now have a, a lot of RDF data for the resources already generated, but what we don't have yet is the interlinking um, with DBpedia that we could have from the reconciliation. So uh, to achieve this, I add two additional properties, our same as and both maker with our same as pointing to the book description on dbpedia and fourth maker to the description of the author on dbpedia. I click on add property to add a new property which will be our same as. Again it doesn't know the owl uh, vocabulary so uh, it asks me to import the owl vocabulary from the vocabulary description. I have to repeat the process owl same as and then I configure that I want to link to an, a URI, to a resource, and I change the expression to generate the resource because it should be the value of the reconciliation. So I enter the Google Refine um, expression cell.recon.match.id on the name field. I check on RDF preview whether this is now the right link yes it is so i can repeat the same for the fourth maker in the preview here i can see already the results for the different rows again i select as a uri and i click on ok now the rdf preview looks fine to me so now we can proceed with importing this data into the link media framework so i click on export select RDF as RDF XML and it will automatically generate RDF XML for me. I click on save page as to save it into my directory. Then I switch to the linked media framework and here in the linked media framework we have a generic import system which I select here. It's in the core module and this importer allows me to import RDF or different um, kinds of data in different formats from any kind of URL. I select application RDF plus XML since this is what we exported from Google Refine and now I enter the file URL pointing to the file that we just exported and I click on import. Now the book data is published as linked data and we can verify this by entering the resource URI of one of the books in the browser. Um, I have this prepared and I go here, select a Game of Thrones and as you can see it displays it in a human readable um, format. I can now click on a Game of Thrones and uh, the link media framework will dynamically fetch uh, the data from DBpedia and show it to the user. Of course I can also access the data um, using a REST client and uh, return the RDF plus N3 format. F uh, to this aim I have prepared the Firefox REST client, I entered the resource URI in the address field, I added a request header of accept value text RDF plus N3 and I added also our extension which uh, tells the system that we want to get metadata and not content. I click on send. It tells me OK and when I look at the response body I get the RDF metadata of the resource in N3 format. We can now change this to for example application RDF plus XML. I send it again and as you can see now the resource metadata is serialized in RDF XML format. So we have achieved our goal. We have published comma separated values about books as linked data um, and we are now finished with this screencast. Thank you for listening and see you in the next screencast which will be about semantic search.